Do you ever start off Monday morning feeling like you're completely behind on everything already? Well, today I'm going to show you how to map out your week, creating your ideal week, making sure that you can get to all of the things that are important for your personal activities, business, and career. So I'm Jamila Payne, creator of The Daily Success Routine, and we're a online professional development company for ambitious women. So check us out at dailysuccessroutine.com. So I'm going to start out with first mapping out my week. So a daily success routine, we have a process that teaches how to create your, your, uh, I, your ideal week. So you can actually grab that handout below using the link below, but I'm going to show you what are some of the components. So I create these prioritization blocks. So for example, I have weekly blocks. And the weekly blocks will include things that I need to do every week. That includes going to the gym, DJ practice, fun, that's an important part of my week, and preparation. So what things do I have commitments for that I need to prep for? And so there's a few things for me in that category. One is my radio show. Next is our weekly series that we do called Plan the Week Live. So I have to do preparation for that, putting together the presentation every week. I teach a class at a local university, so that's part of my weekly prep. And then creating these amazing videos for you. So those are some of the blocks for my week. Now there's also daily blocks, so uh, daily routines that need to get executed. That includes Hour of Power, which is Focusing your first hour of your workday on your most important activities towards your 90-day goal. Next is my morning routine, which is a daily activity. My workday wrap-up. So those are my daily activities. And then finally is my work blocks okay so the work blocks so again when i'm talking about blocks i'm talking about priorities focus blocks things you must focus on on a regular basis so part of that for me is Content is something that is a important part of our business. So I like to focus on content on Monday and Tuesday. That includes doing our newsletters, maybe doing a new blog post, presentations, and website updates. So those are my content focus blocks. I also have a work focus block on financials. And that includes doing regular reporting, like checking out our Google analysis. And I like to make that happen on Mondays. And then financial, which we use QuickBooks here. So I like doing that on Thursdays. Other work focus blocks include pitching, which I like to make happen on Tuesdays, and partnerships, which Tuesdays are great for that as well. Okay, so those are the work focus blocks. Now, Oh, videos also go under content. And those are Wednesday and Saturday. Now, these are my work blocks. As a business owner, you may have different work blocks 
if you are running a business and working full-time inside of a company or just working full-time inside of a company. So your, your work blocks are specific to you. These daily things are things that we sort of teach and recommend a daily success routine. You should have an hour of power every day for focus on your 90 day goals. You should have a morning routine and you should have a work day wrap up. And if you're interested in learning more about the six essential routines to create, then definitely check out our previous episode of Plan the Week Live, which walks through those six essential routines. And I'll include a link to that below as well. And then of course, weekly, these are things that you are committed to do on a weekly basis, kind of like recurring programs or events or recurring lifestyle important activities. And then of course, prep, which I believe is the number one thing keeping people in overwhelm is that they do not put preparation time onto their calendar. All right, so you can create your blocks using the handout with the link below. So now I'm just gonna take this information and begin to plot out my week. So the tool that I'm using is our daily success routine weekly planning pad. And you can check that out at dailysuccessroutine.org.org.com, dailysuccessroutine.com. And I will include a link to that below as well. So what I do is I start mapping out the things according to what I wrote down. So It'll be hard to see both here, but going back to my sheet where I have my blocks, I'm going to start with the gym. So when are my gym days? So gym for me is uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then on the weekends. So I'm going to write that in. Now notice that I'm putting things, the blocks are critical because what often happens is there's things that we see as important to our life, our career, our businesses that are never making it onto our calendar. So notice what I put down first, something that has to do with self-care and my own personal health and well-being. Okay, then uh, practice, DJ practice. So I need to prep for my radio show and any upcoming DJ events that I'm booked for. DJing is a passion and hobby of mine. So I'd like to do that prep on uh, Tuesdays evenings and Wednesday evenings and then a little bit on Friday mornings. Okay, so that's that. Now fun. I usually put in fun based on what I have going on for the week. So let's just say, I I'm not sh so let's just say for example, if I have uh, a brunch with girlfriends happening on the weekend. So then I'm gonna put that down. So brunch, so that's my fun activity with friends. All right, let's just say I might have a date night on a Thursday. So I'm gonna put in my date night. And let's say I'm planning to join some friends for happy hour on Friday evening. So I'm gonna put in happy hour. So our own personal happiness and time for fun is essential. And so that is going on to the calendar every single week. Then moving along to prep. So I mentioned the radio show is something that I have to prep. So I'm actually going to put prep right here because the specifically on Tuesday is prep for the show in terms of my DJ practice and also on Friday, putting in the prep there as well. The university class that happens on Monday evenings. So I do a little prep for that on Tuesdays. So prep university class. Okay, and then videos. I mentioned that the videos should be happening 
on a weekly basis and I've made Wednesday and Saturday's focus days for that. So I'm just going to put in like a block on Wednesday for video shooting and then again on the weekend video shooting. And then I might even say how long. So that's a really important factor. Just considering how much time. So I'm going to put two in brackets because I want to spend at least two hours on that. So now I'm on the work blocks. So for my work blocks, content is Monday, Tuesday. So this is, you know, what activity am I going to focus on on these different days? Our newsletters typically go out on Wednesdays. So I'm going to put in a newsletter block for Monday to make sure I can have everything set up for our newsletter. I'm going to put in this particular week uh, the presentation time. So Tuesday I'm going to spend time doing our plan the week presentation. So that goes in. Our website updates happen on Monday, so putting that in as something I need to make sure that gets done on that day. And then I mentioned financial, so that reporting time will go, that happens on Monday for reporting. Thursday is QuickBooks check-in. And then on Tuesdays, I'm going to spend time doing prep. Uh, pitching and partnerships, right? So I'm adding that to my sort of Tuesday to-do list. Now, sometimes what I do is I like actually putting little check boxes next to things to be able to just check it off, you know, like that instant gratification of being able to check things off. So I love the flexibility of the page to be able to do that. And then finally, I wrap up with my daily. So my hour of power, again, happens every day, my first hour of the work day. Hour of power, why can't I write all of a sudden? But typically, instead of putting hour of power, I'm gonna put what I'm gonna do. So right now, our 90-day goal is focused, or my 90-day goal, or our goal even as a company, is focused on the release of our business, Badass Live, Po uh, event series. So I spend an hour minimum every day working towards that 90 day vision. So I'm going to just put BBA for business badass. And I just know like that's my hour of power every day is to do something towards business badass. And then uh, you know, my gym is part of my morning routine. I don't write down in my weekly blocks the morning routine. What I do is I utilize the habit tracker for that. So I'll put down morning routine so that I can check off whether or not I actually did my morning routine or not. Something else that I'm habit tracking right now is reading a book a week. And I'm doing that using Audible. So I'll check off whether or not I did something towards my book a week on Audible. All right, so that's essentially how you can lay out your week using the daily success method. This is also helpful. I love this because I can put in my week here and be able to have that you know front and center I can tear it off tear off the sheet take it with me anywhere that I'm gonna go but I usually put in my week of so we're going into I believe three five and then any notes you can put up here Specific milestones that I might have for the week or that you have for the week can go at the bottom. So those can definitely be included as well, which makes that easy to follow through on. 
so you can make sure that that gets added and so that's just essentially the way that you can map out your week now the final thing that I want to add here that I love is the happiness meter so I do this planning process every Sunday and I like to check in on my personal happiness so I'm at a one I'm at a four I'm at a five you know the day I'm feeling kind of combo four or five so I mark that off and this is helpful too because it allows me to check in on my self-care so if I know that there's a day that I am putting I'm in that one zone it's telling me that I'm not doing enough in terms of my own self-care taking a responsibility for my own health and well-being uh, and so then also I just didn't I talked about the milestones but you can put something in here like let's say a weekly milestone for us for our business badass live is having two speakers booked all right so that's a milestone that we're working for this week so that is how you utilize the daily success planning pad in order to map out your week and set up the week for success so that you do not start off your Mondays anymore feeling behind the eight ball. I hope that was helpful and to find out more about the daily success routine or get information on our products, services, and other upcoming programs and classes, visit dailysuccessroutine.com.